So this video that you're gonna watch, you're gonna notice that my glasses are really funky. I made the video and then when I was watching the video, I said, oh my God, Kat, I forgot to tell y'all. You know, I went to the bathroom one night and my glasses had fallen off and when I came back in, I sat on my glasses. So now they're all goofy looking, <laughs> which I think adds, you know, it adds attitude. So uh, that's what you're gonna see next as you watch this video with a little explanation of why I look so goofy. So I'm sitting here on my couch in my living room. I have a dog chewing on a bone over there. That's Raven, guide dog of the desert. My other dog is behind the phone right now and I, I've just been playing with him and I've been finishing up doing research, being in curiosity, because uh, it's been a few days since I've shown up and the reason for it is I'm trying to get everything right. You know, I wanna just have everything perfect and sound like I got it all together and because I should have it all together you know by now you know I should have it all together and I don't and I should have a lot more knowledge than I think I have and I've been doing investigation I've been doing query regarding wisdom you know what is wisdom and the major discovery I just made is it's not about what I know because that's knowledge. And I think that I get to come talk to you when I have knowledge. I've got this figured out and I can take you there. But the fact is that's not how I'm designed. I'm designed to come with query. I'm designed to come with the not knowing, going into the not knowing and having the discovery. The resources will come. It's a scary place. The resources will come, or it can be scary. The resources will come because they always do, and that's how I'm built. So as I look back on what I've been doing, because I'm in the query of what do I get to do next? How do I get to show up for y'all next? What does that look like? What is the, what is the wisdom I carry to share? And as I continue to be in that, and again, my reason for not showing up is because I don't have it all figured out, is going into the unknown. So that's what I'm doing right now, is showing up with you and saying, okay, here I go into the unknown, not having all the answers. Now, I was a software developer for 50 some years, and in the last 30 years of my career, I mean, I was always on the edge, so always on the unknown. There were no manuals for anything that I did. In fact, even if there were, I probably didn't read them because of about the way that I discovered. So in my 30, last 30 years of my career, as technology was continuing to develop, I would jump at anything that was in my organic software world to say, I'll do it. I'll do it. Are you sure? There's no documentation. We're developing it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'm realizing, because there was, there was a part of me that when I decided, or decided, when it was decided for me with COVID, that I would no longer be a software developer, that now I was going to show up differently in the world. Somehow I didn't think the tools of what I used or had that uh, supported me being successful in that world were useful here. And that is not true. That is not true. I was very successful at what I did. Very innovative, very creative, very resourceful. And that's where we get to go now. That is where we get to go now. And I get to do it first. So stay tuned. Here we go into the abyss of what's next. I'm having a sense of it. I'm having a sense of it. Um, and I'll throw it out there, having to do with being an elder, because I feel that I am in the youth of my senior citizen. I'm probably more further along in, in it than I think I am, but I think I'm in the youth of my senior citizenship. And how to be an elder, how do we get to show up in the world? And 
it, it, it's not dependent on your age, but how do we get to show up in the world going forward? What's being called forward for us? So let me know your thoughts. I mean, if any of this feels true to you. I feel the world, the world is in a reboot. And uh, all of what I'm sharing right now is part of that reboot, is part of this rebooting. And maybe I'll use a lot of computer language at this point, maybe. We'll see how it goes. But I love you, and I continue to commit to showing up. It's courageous to show up and be honest and authentic and open yourself up to, especially when you don't know, knowledge, especially when you especially when you're making the discovery and sharing it as you discover. Okay, love you.